Okay. Okay, we left off in Siv Anova in the Maral. The path of Anova, of humility. So the Maral explained the Posuk in Mishle, Ekev Anova Yiras Hashem. The heel of humility is Yiras Hashem. So he explained what it means is that a person, only if he's, is he hum, if he's humble, then he's able to come upon Yir Shemayim. If a person is a Balgaiva, he's self-centered and he's arrogant, he doesn't recognize God. But a person who's naturally humble, so then he sees beyond himself. Yeah, but how do you have Yir Shemayim? Right? Where, where does it start? No, where does it start? You know, so certain people, you know, Rambam Hilchus Deus speaks about people uh, being born with different temperaments. He says certain people are born naturally humble. They're naturally humble. So people are naturally self-centered. Dif- different, different temperaments. People naturally, they have no interest in material. They have no interest. Other people, as much material as they have, it's never enough insatiable need for material. And he speaks of all the different, you know, the extremes of characteristics. And he speaks about how do you deal with any, each one of them, how you overcome them. Because even if a person has, some people have no interest, even what, what, which, are, which are based necessities for life. But it's important. You have to address those. Because otherwise a person is not going to take care of his health. You don't eat, you don't sleep, or whatever you may be. So how do you overcome all these negative tendencies, although you're removing yourself from material? So that's what he deals with. So a person is naturally humble. For him to come to Yerushalayim, it's much easier. Because he, he has greater clarity. A person who is totally f- self-focused on himself, he has, he has more difficulty with that. So what does he have to do? He has to humble himself, do something to humble himself to, be, to get greater clarity. So the Rambam says, person naturally, he gravitates to sit in the front. He himself should force him to sit in the back. Get out of the line. Force yourself out, to be out of the limelight, not to have attention, not to be acknowledged for, for what you do. So as a result of that, over time, through conditioning, a person d- develops a second nature. That's the Rambam. Correct. And it's like a pendulum. And eventually you get to the center point, okay? The equidistant point between both, both extremes. Yira is a derivative of humility. That's an outgrowth of humility is Yira Hashem. As when one walks, the heel follows the body, wherever the body goes. As I said yesterday, the Rabbeinu Bach, you know, it's just the opposite. That Yerush Hashem, Anova is a derivative of Yerush Of course, the, cl- the greater level of clarity you have who Hashem is, that minimizes you. That causes a greater degree of humility. O medrash mark she'osa chokhmo at Torah l'rosho. What wisdom... Wisdom is considered a Torah l'rosha. It's like a crown on one's head. Right. Osa novo ekev l'siluso. That's the equivalent of putting humility is like putting the heel onto a soul. What does that mean? Masha osa chokma a Torah l'rosha. What do we see that chokma is not Torah is a crown to one's head? Shnema reishis chokma yiras Hashem. Now, what, is the, what does that posuk mean? Reish is Chochm Yiras Hashem. It's quoted in the Midrash. So, there's, there's an, Rabbeinu Bach has two, two interpretations. Is Reish is Chochm Yiras Hashem, does it mean the prerequisite of Chochm is Yiras Hashem? Or does it mean the beginning of Chochm is Yiras Hashem? Yiras Hashem is Chochm. Is it a prerequisite? And then Chochm follows? Or no, that is the beginning of Yiras That's the beginning of Chochm. The person has no Yiras Hashem, he's a poor. That, he, he doesn't have the foundation even to begin. That's the foundation of Chochma, is Yiras Hashem. You know, it's like a person. He, uh, 
he works for a company, gets a tremendous salary, and, but he doesn't know who the boss is. And when the boss walks in, he behaves as if he's the boss to, in the presence of the boss. I mean, who do you think you are? But you realize I'm underwriting everything here. So, Rishus Chochmi Yus Hashem, you think you're that smart. I'm who endowed you with whatever you have. You know, it's, it's God Himself. You, so, you think you, you're the, it begins with you, it doesn't begin with you, it begins with God. So, what is, so you're a fool. The, the, man, the man is a fool. Say, Rishus Chochmi Yus Hashem. The beginning of Chochmo is the Yur Sashem. Okay? Masha is Chochma, Torah, the Shinem, Yesh Chochm, Yur Sashem, Osa, Anova, Akev, the Silushin, Emma, Akev, Anova, Yur Sashem, Adkan. What does this mean? Ubir Dova Zef, Kiaidea Chochma, Oda Magil, Yur Sashem. You know, Pasuk Mishle, Ksil B'chosheh Cholei. A fool, a hedonist, right? B'chosheh, he walks in the dark. A person is totally consumed with, with, with material. You know, he may wear, uh, you know, 5,000 old pair of glasses. You know, designer, whatever it is. Goes to the gym. There's no more expensive gym in the city. And everything is, you know, first class. Men's in the dark. He doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. So what is A person truly wise, he, ca- he, under, he comes to your Sashamayah. An Amoritz cannot be a Chosid, and a Boor, a Boor is like an uncouth person, cannot fear sin. We see that wisdom is an exalted, advanced level. Shall Yodom Agi Odom Yerushamayim? That through that, through wisdom, one comes upon Yerushamayim. Ki Aidei Achochma Makir Odom Es Oloso. Through wisdom, person understands what his origin is. What do you, what, how did I come about? Oloso means his his origin. Ve'yarmi ve'yirami ponov, and as a result of that, you will fear him. Ve'dovze in Tzorch Rayu. It's it's understood. How did how did how did, how did the world come about? Didn't come out, just didn't come out of a vacuum, even though the world says it did. You know, how could you disagree? You know, the wisest people said it came out of a vacuum. The Big Bang theory. I mean, you're wiser than the people who came up with the Big Bang theory, right? So how, how? Since when did you work in a, that kind of laboratory? Okay, you say laboratory, or laboratory. Not sure. Okay. To be continued. <laughs>